to your second online lesson. This lesson is specifically to French horn. Um, your previous lesson was all for brass, so this one is going to focus just on you guys. We did a lot in your second lesson, so I want to make sure we get everything in, so we're going to get right started. You need to have your uh, homework paper in front of you with a music stand and your French horn and mouthpiece. So here we go. We want to start by getting our lips ready to go, so we're going to do some buzzing. So we want to buzz a nice long note. So here's my French horn mouthpiece. We're going to buzz a nice long note. Here we go. Ready? Go. Oh. All right, let's do one more to get our lips going. Here we go. Buzz a nice long note. Ready? Go. Oh. Okay, the other thing we did to get our lips ready was sirens on the mouthpiece. So we're going to buzz slow up to fast, down to slow, up to fast, down to slow. Okay? So the slow buzz is going to create a low sound. The fast buzz is going to create a high sound. So we want low, high, low, high, low. We're going to do two buzzes in one breath. Here we go. Starting off with a slow buzz, going up to a fast one. Ready? Go! Alright, let's try that again. This time on the second one, Try to make the difference between your slow buzz and your fast buzz even bigger by tightening the corners of your mouth a little bit and buzzing even faster at the top. Here we go. Two buzz, two sirens, one long buzz. Ready? Go. And there's our sirens. All right, now one of the really important things we talked about in our second lesson was tonguing. Tonguing is when you take the tip of your tongue and you touch it to the top back of your teeth, like you're saying two, two, two. Say that a couple times to yourself, two, 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 to get used to it. Now try whispering it with no sound. Maybe try one of the music patterns, like uh, ta, ta, ti, ti, ta, but with no sound. Now, to get what you're going to do on your mouthpiece, I want you to put your mouthpiece on your lips, but we're not going to make any sound. We're just going to, again, whisper the two, two, two. Let's try that. You can kind of experiment with how fast you can move your tongue and get it to touch your teeth and then go away. Now, what I said to you guys in your lesson is that if you tongue a couple times in a row, and as you do it, you tighten your lips up a little bit and tighten the corners of your mouth, you should start to buzz. And it should just happen. So let's try that. I'm going to start with whispering the sound. Let's try that again. We're going to start with no sound, just with our tongue touching and air going through the mouthpiece. Let's try that. should start to happen. If it's not going perfectly, that's all right. It's definitely something we will be working on in our lessons. So try to get the tonguing down if you can at all. All right, some buzzing exercises. Let's buzz hot cross buns uh, on our mouthpiece. And remember that hot cross buns goes hot cross buns. So we're going high, medium, low, fast, medium, slow. So let's try it. Here we go. Starting with a fast buzz, going to a slow buzz. I'm going to use my hand to show you guys high, medium, low. Here we go. Ready? Use your tongue. Ready? Go. Stay low. So that's one thing you can do to keep your lips getting stronger and also working on your ears and making sure you can hear that as you buzz. You can make up your own ta and tt patterns. This will really help your tonguing. So I'm going to make one up and you guys repeat after me. I'll give you a, a hand so you know when to go. Here I go. You should be tonguing every single note. All of the band instruments use their tongue to start notes. It's really important. We're going to keep going on after that. 
Um, all right, assembly and holding the French horn. You guys have a pretty easy job. You're going to take your mouthpiece, put it into the French horn lead pipe, and give it one twist. The twist just helps to make sure your mouthpiece isn't going to get stuck in your instrument. If it does get stuck, please bring it to school. I have a tool that can get it out. So let's try that again. Put it in your horn, twist, and you're all set. Now holding the French horn is a little bit more difficult. So um, we want to get good posture from the beginning. So if I just put my French horn up like this, it's too high. And that's because my legs are just as normal. So what I want to do is I want to drop my leg down that the bell is on a little bit lower because I'm on the edge of my seat so I can move my leg down and kind of put it out to the side and then my front horn should be at the right height. If I move my leg in, it's too high. If I put my leg out, it goes lower. Now my hand is just going to go in the bell flat like this, but not in too far, otherwise it's going to muffle our sound. So just in the bell, bell on your leg, leg down at whatever level you need, and then my hands, my pinky is in the hook, my thumb is also on the hook if you can reach it. And then my fingers are on the valves. One, two, and three. The first valve is the one closest to the mouthpiece. The second valve is in the middle. And the third valve is the furthest away. One, two, three. All right, so let's try a note. I'm going to play what's called an E. I want you guys to try and match me. I'm not going to push any valves down. Here we go. Let's try it. Ready? Go. Let's try that one again. Your job is to try and match me, so make sure the volume is cranked up and you're using your ears, or listen to my note for a second. Kind of hum it to yourself, it's right here, and then try it on your instrument. So here's an E. Now, if you look further down your page, you'll see that that's going to be the first note we talk about. So in number five, we have E, D, and C. The circles represent the valves, and if you notice, for E, none of the valves are filled in. So E is no valves. If you look across the page, C is also no valves. So how do you tell the difference? That's the hard thing about French horn. You have to start to use your ears almost like a professional before we even have them trained, and your E is going to be higher, and your C is going to be lower. So your E is going to be a fast buzz, your C is going to be a slow buzz. So let's try just those two notes. We're going to do an E, just like we did, and then we're going to play a C. We'll take a break in between them. Okay, here's our E. Try to match me. Ready, go. All right, now let's try a C. So we have to loosen up our lips a little bit and make sure it goes lower. Here's our C. Now, a really great thing for you to try and do, which would be really impressive, is to go back and forth from E to C. And I'll go slow. I'll go E, C, E, C. Let's try that on our instruments. Ready? That speed. Go. And that's E and C. We're going to keep working on that in our lessons. Um, and the more that you play on your French horn, the better those will get. All right, now we need to add a note in between. If you look on your page, you will notice that D is in between E and C. So we have E, D, C. And if you kind of see where I'm going with this, we're getting towards hot cross buns. Now, if you look at D, one of the circles is filled in. That means that our first valve needs to be pressed down when we play D. When I'm going to play a note with a valve, I always make sure that I press the valve down before I start the note. So I have my first valve pressed down, and we're going to try D. This is like medium air, or a little bit slow air. Here we go, here's D. Ready, go. Good, let's try that one again. 
since this one's new, make sure your valve is pushed down. And I haven't mentioned this yet, but make sure you're using your tongue to start the note. So we want, let's try that on D. Here we go. Ready? Go. Try this song. What we're going to do first is say the notes out loud and move our valve for the D when we have one. So let's just say the notes across the page. We're going to say E, D, C, but it'll look like this. E, D, C. So let's say that together. Here we go. Ready? Go. E, push the valve, D, C. Do it again. E, valve, D, C. Now stay on C. C. C, C, C valve, D, 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 E, D, C. Now, like I said earlier, we're working towards hot cross buns, so this is actually hot cross buns. So we're going to try it, and if you remember back to our buzzing, did we start high or did we start low? If you said high, you are correct. And we're starting on an E. E is higher than C. So E is up here. C is down here. So I'm going to show you guys on my hand, E, D, C, and I'm going to give little hints about what to remember. Push your valve down, things like that. And remember, we're pushing the first valve down for Ds. So first of all, let's find our E. Let's hold the note out. Ready? Go. That's the note we want to start on. That's our E. Okay, here we go. I'll give you some hints as we go. Use your tongue. Sit up nice and straight, make sure you have good posture. Hand in your bell, but I'll show you high and low. We're starting on E. Ready, go. Bell. Do it again. Now stay low. sure that you're starting on an E every time and not a C or a note that's too high, um, you should be fine. And I, can, and I look forward to hearing that in your lesson. Now, make sure you fill out your practice paper. If you followed along with the entire lesson, we did everything. We did things to try, tonguing, buzzing, assembly of the French horn, which was really easy, and first notes. So try to practice five to seven times this week. That means that one, two, three, four, five columns should be checked off and then get it signed by your parents so that they know and I know that you practiced. Um, your goal is to be able to play hot cross buns for me and have you recognize it and maybe your parents recognize it at least a little bit. That's your goal. Um, if you need some help with the notes, come back and listen to the video again and you will find the E and the C a little bit more accurately. Can't wait to hear you guys in your lesson and I'll see you next week.